Why is underscore in an underscore always called after underscore new underscore? I'm just trying to streamline one of my classes and have introduced some functionality in the same style as the flyway design pattern. However, I'm a bit confused as to why underscore in it underscore is always called after underscore new underscore. I wasn't expecting this. Can anyone tell me why this is happening and how I can implement this functionality otherwise? Apart from putting the implementation into the underscore new underscore which feels quite hacky. Here's an example. Outputs Why? Use underscore new underscore when you need to control to creation of a new instance dot use underscore init underscore when you need to control initialization of a new instance dot underscore new underscore is the first step of instance creation. It's called first and is responsible for returning a new instance of your class. In contrast comma underscore init underscore doesn't return anything, it's only responsible for initializing the instance after it's been created. In general, you shouldn't need to variate underscore new underscore unless you're a subclassing an immutable type like string, unicode or tuple. From April 2008 post, when to use underscore new underscore versus underscore init underscore on mail.python.org You should consider that what you are trying to do is usually done with a factory and that's the best way to do it. Using underscore new underscore is not a good clean solution so please consider the usage of a factory. Here's a good example, active state factory pattern recipe. Underscore new underscore is static class method, while underscore init underscore is instance method. Underscore new underscore has to create the instance first, so underscore init underscore can initialize it. Note that underscore init underscore takes self as parameter. Until you create instance there is no self. Now, I gather, that you're trying to implement singleton pattern in Python. There are a few ways to do that. Also, as of Python 2.6, you can use class decorators. In most well-known U languages, an expression like some class arg1, arg2, will allocate a new instance, initialize the instance's attributes, and then return it. In most well-known languages, the initialize the instance's attributes part can be customized for each class by defining a constructor, which is basically just a block of code that operates on the new instance, using the arguments provided to the constructor expression to set up whatever initial conditions are desired. In Python, this corresponds to the class underscore init underscore method. Python's underscore new underscore is nothing more and nothing less than similar per class customization of the allocate a new instance part. This of course allows you to do unusual things such as returning an existing instance rather than allocating a new one. So in Python, we shouldn't really think of this part as necessarily involving allocation. All that we require is that underscore new underscore comes up with a suitable instance from somewhere. But it's still only half of the job, and there's no way for the Python system to know that sometimes you want to run the other half of the job, underscore in it underscore, afterwards and sometimes you don't. If you want that behavior, you have to say so explicitly. Often, you can refactor so you only need underscore new underscore, or so you don't need underscore new underscore, 
also that underscore init underscore behaves differently on an already initialized object. But if you really want to, Python does actually allow you to redefine the job so that some class arg1, arg2, doesn't necessarily call underscore new underscore followed by underscore init underscore. To do this, you need to create a meta class and define its underscore call underscore method. A meta class is just the class of a class. And a class underscore call underscore method controls what happens when you call instances of the class. So a meta class underscore call underscore method controls what happens when you call a class, i.e. it allows you to redefine the instance creation mechanism from start to finish. This is the level at which you can most elegantly implement a completely non-standard instance creation process such as the singleton pattern. In fact, with less than 10 lines of code you can implement a singleton meta class that then doesn't even require you to futz with underscore new underscore at all and can turn any otherwise normal class into a singleton by simply adding underscore meta class underscore equals singleton. However, this is probably deeper magic than is really warranted for this situation. To quote the documentation. Typical implementations create a new instance of the class by invoking the superclasses underscore new underscore method using super current class cls underscore new underscore cls with appropriate arguments and then modifying the newly created instance as necessary before returning it if underscore new underscore does not return an instance of cls then the new instances underscore in it underscore method will not be invoked dot underscore new underscore is intended mainly to allow subclasses of immutable types like int sdr or tuple to customize instance creation.